Hello everybody and welcome back again. As you can see just from this opening footage, I've done quite a lot of work on the landscaping, on the country scene. Um, <clears throat> I'll quickly talk you through what I've done and, and then we'll go on to a new purchase I've done. So let's just start up this end. So up the top here, not sure what I'm going to do up here. Um, that's why I've left it with just a brand poster paint. But as you come down the hill, you can see I've got this uh, Backman barn, a resin barn. I don't know what it is. I just really love the Backman um, models, like the houses and, and, and the buildings. I just think they do a really good job and the detail on them as well. Like the corrugated asbestos sheeting and the brickwork. So... Um, I've, set, I've sort of settled that one down, sat into the hillside. This stuff here, this is flexible. Um, you've seen it on other channels, it's the flexible walling. All right, so this is how I get to bend it, the way it's bent. It's basically cut into foam, but it's just so easy to use and so easy to manipulate and uh, bend into the shapes and curvatures um, of the hillside but also I like the detail on it if I get that to no maybe not there you see it's got that nice detail okay I originally bought this stuff this was supposed to be uh, the dry stone walling and this stuff is um, what's the bloody name of it it's uh, Jarvis uh, Country Scenics now, I bought quite a few bags of this, hoping that it was going to be the right stuff that I'll be using. But when you look at it, I don't know. I mean, I know I'm fussy when it comes to detail and things looking real. But, no, to, to me, there's just no comparison. I mean, no bad feelings, or not towards anyone that uses this stuff. I mean, um, but it's just not for me. I just prefer this. So, uh Right, let's have a quick look. So, um, yeah, at the top, not sure what I'm doing up there. I might do like a little village scene up there. Um, and then it comes down on this road. This road needs covering, needs filling, it needs sorting out, it needs straightening out. It will still be like a dirt sort of mud countryside looking road, but um, there's going to be a lot of trees as well. So it it's going to be giving the illusion that there's a road there. Um, and as you can see, I painted the back of the walls blue. Um, I just can't get on with any of the back scenes. I don't know what I do wrong, but it just don't work out for me. So as you come along, uh, Pico Tunnel Math. Oh, I've done with that. Just sprayed it with Alpha's primer, Alfred's grey primer, um, and then just washed it with some Citadel um, Nuln Oil. It does need sorting out. It still needs highlighting. I might pick out some brickwork and whatever, but... It looks all right from a distance. Uh, you're probably already seeing now the track as well. The track's been weathered. And as it comes back, it comes along. And I built this, this little bridge here. Um, I did have one of those, but from a distance, from like an angle like this, it almost looked like another channel's layout, um, at, which does inspire me, don't get me wrong, but I don't like the same stuff to me it's like copying i know i know people said in the comments from last video well it's up to you lee it's your layout but i don't like it and also the thing with this um what i didn't like hang on let's just grab it and i'll show you it sits too low and there, there's not really much you can do with it I can't do, even though I'd like to have a river or a canal or whatever, you can't use that because at the end of the day, I can't see a canal running through a man in like that. So what I opted for was this Wheels Girder Bridge. Um, you're all familiar with this stuff, you know where to get it. And I sort of done my own little sort of kit bash. It, well, no, it wasn't. No, I'm lying. It ain't a kit bash. That's Wheels Stone Walling. And I just sort of made my own wing walls, uh, tunnel support. This all still needs weathering as well. But yeah, I just made this out of the wheels kit, making sure I could just get the edges in as sort of best I can. I did try to mitre them. Um, 
and also these parts here these these still need bushing and they need edging down them uh, the same with this as well so anyway stop waffling let's carry on so comes along yeah I really liked this little Backman scene craft. Um, it's a little farm shelter. And as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to have it and just sort of plonk it in the middle of nowhere. So, I don't know, the cattle or the farmer on heavy storms and whatnot can just take a bit of shelter in it. But I thought that came out quite nice just sitting there buried in the hillside. So, here we go. So, where are we? And then we come along. Another Backman scene craft building. Um, you'll probably notice it's got the same sort of stone walling or brickwork, if you like, um, as the other shelter I just showed you. So it matches quite nice. Instead of having it how you would expect, having it facing you with all the nice pretty little porch and whatnot, you can see it round this side. If I try to get round there. Um, I didn't want that. I wanted the back of it showing. It's just that little bit different. I might make a little, I don't know, a little garden scene or something there, you know. But it just, I don't know, it just looks a little bit different. Again, that stone wall in. And then it comes along. Let's try and get up. Ooh. Carries on. You can still see that road. Well, I said that road's going to be a little bit sort of hidden away and set back and then it goes up this large hill here I really like this large hill because um, when you get down low <coughs> as you get down low and the trains turn when this part of it's all done yep so all, all this part here is going to be hillside as well it just set out a nice sort of scene with a nice background once it's got all bushes and, and nettles and foliage on there i think it looked quite good all right so <coughs> sorry so there you go this is how it's looking this is what i've been up to all right uh this part here might even have a black board on it, I don't know. Or I might continue the hillside. As long as I can remove it, strip all this back scene off, continue with the hillside and just sort of let it blend in um, as it runs into up into the station. Alright, but hopefully it's picking it up, the actual size of it. Yeah. And then it goes all the way round, and this is as far as I've got. And then again, that's going to run towards Upminster Station. All right, this little hillside, uh, hillside here. I'd started doing a little road as if the road comes up, and there's some sort of I don't know a diorama going on up here. But I, the idea of doing a country scene was not to have dioramas, not to have busy stuff going on. Um, I want it just plain so that you concentrate on trains and not hillsides, uh, sorry, and not dioramas and buildings. Um, up this side of the path, I, um, as I said in the last video, I was going to have a nice little pub scene um, or have the pub on this side, I don't know. Um, but then I thought to myself, well, why not just have the road coming out of it? And this is big enough to have quite a decent road. Um, let's just grab this. Not that we're going to use that bus. But you could see you could comfortably have two-way traffic with a little pavement area. And it doesn't look unconvincing, if you like. So, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. But shall I just carry on the road here a little bit? I want to put another board in as well. And then over here, I was thinking of just having like meadows, having some fields, putting some sheep. Um, and just really having the eye concentrating on those trains um, instead of all these bits and pieces and dioramas 
So uh, let us know in the comments what you think. When I continue with this ball, bring it out. What shall I do? Do you think maybe have a, have a field there or um, have a road and, and put, you know, bits of nonsense there or whatever? But let us know. But remember, the idea of this was to concentrate on trains, not scenery. Um, <clears throat> talking of the scenery, this stuff, it, it, you could probably, to be honest, you could probably get away with it looking like that. Um, but it's not going to stay like that. That's, that's just the basing of it. Um, I'm not going to waffle on about this, but doing the, doing the basing uh, for the country scene... You've all seen it before, and as you know, I don't do tutorials. Not that I wouldn't like to, I am just just don't really know what I'm doing, to be honest. But um, you've seen other guys do it. They mix fine turf, woodland scenic fine, fine turf, and you've got earth colour, and then you've got soil. And what you do is you just basically mix it up. Um, you've seen them doing it, and they just scatter it over with, um, with some PVA, and that's how it looks. It actually looks pretty good as it is. I've got a number of different grasses as well. I've got some shorter grass, I've got some longer grass as well. This is all static. Um, more importantly, as well, I bought a battery. Yeah, we've got to have a battery and a brand new battery. Um, God knows how old the other battery is. So, yeah, so there you go. This is what I've been up to. These little parts here on the dry stone wall. You can see there's these gaps under there. Now, these are held in rock solid. I mean, um, I don't know if you can work it out. Just so you can see like a blob of um, hot glue. This ain't going nowhere. But by the time the static grass goes in, we're going to have the static grass. Then we're going to have some bushes and some foliage and, and whatnot. Um, that are, I think that really blend in nice. All right, so... As you just saw, um, I was lucky enough to um, get one of these. Um, I've been after one for ages, years and years. And I was actually quite envy of people that had the HST, the high detail one in the executive livery. Um, I don't know if you've seen a video. I, I did it a few years ago. Um, it was during the lockdown. And um, basically, I caught COVID and a long, cut a long story short, I spent hours in the bedroom trying to convert a, a, an old Hornby um, HST to look half decent. Now, obviously, it ain't got a touch on this because this is like brand new. Um, it, it arrived earlier in the week. Um, was it in the week or l uh, late last week? I've been waiting two years for this one to come out. They released um, GWR... Um, a couple of other liveries as well, but this was the one I've been waiting to get for such a long time. Um, now, because I've got the Swallow livery as well, um, a lot of people's favourite is the Swallow. I like the Swallow as well, but I personally prefer this one. It's always been my favourite. It reminds me um, of that morning in 1986 when I woke up and 
and I had this train set, uh, well, the older Ormby train set in this livery. And to be honest, I thought my mum had got the wrong train set because I, I was expecting a blue and grey one and it didn't. It came in this livery and since then it's always been my favourite one. As you heard from that footage, I actually got the sand fitting, fitted by the DCC, um, is it HM7000? I'm I'm not that familiar with it to be honest, but it came with that sand fitted and I haven't used the HM controls, it's just gone straight onto the track, I programmed it um, and yeah, it works and it works really well, it runs absolutely beautiful, it's dead smooth. I've had it running in for an hour, no derailments, no jogs, no nothing. I don't really, I don't even know why I bought the sand version, to be honest, because I've, I've never really been a fan of the Swallow HST sand fitted, uh, the TTS. It sounds brilliant. It sounds just, to be honest, it sounds just like it. You couldn't really ask for more, but it's a little bit annoying hearing that whistling going round uh, for an hour or two. So... Uh, but there you go, but it does work. It works really nice. Uh, those of you that don't... Oh, what am I doing? Right. Um, those of you that don't know, I'll show you uh, the model number for this one if you're interested in one. Now, what I did, um, I could have ran this one with my um, Swallow coaches, and they're the right coaches. They're, um, they've got that creamy colour. They've got this creamy... They're, they're, they're executive, but there's two things wrong with those um it doesn't say intercity 125 which actually does go with this actual livery the intercity 125 um and by the way this is what really draws me to this particular model i love the the way it says intercity 125 boasting about its speed um so the other thing the second thing was um, there's nothing wrong with running it with the swallow coaches but I wanted the right coaches. I spent a lot of money on this model and I just want to get the right coaches for it. So what I did before I did this video, well, as you're going to see in a moment, um, I've got all the coaches for it as well. When I bought the coaches for it, I, I was very particular about them. I wanted different running numbers. Um, not that you're going to see it. I mean, here's the run. It is the... Here's the number here. This one's 42035. But um, I just wanted them all different. So I think this is called the second class or standard class. Uh, when we go on to the next one, the next one you see the number is uh, 42034, which is a, a different one. Um, and then we go on to the next one and we've got the third uh, second class coach. And this one um as you'll see if i can get that to focus in 42096 and then we go over to this one which is going to be different anyway because it's the buffet car uh, sorry for the shaking the buffet car okay that's obviously going to have a different running number and then we start on the first class um let's have a look oh, da, 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 da. so that's going to be a different running number as well that's 41060 and well, hang on, what we got there? Uh, yeah, and then as we move along to the last one, we've got four four one zero five nine. So I've got a rake of coaches, bar one. Those of you that know your HSTs, you'll know that I put it in the right configuration. Um, but there is one missing. And it's the trailer guard second, the GTS. So, that, so the GTS coach would go here. So I've got a rake of six, all different numbers. And to be honest, it it would probably suffice just having six. I mean, that is a long old train there. Um, it probably would suffice with just the six. But I, I just want the full rake. I want seven, even though they did run with eight. Um, so there you go. Those of you that didn't pick it up, you'll see that this says B. Yeah. We've got Coach B. Coach C. Now, Coach D would go here, but they have three standard class or second class coaches uh, before you get to the buffet. Sometimes four. So, would D have gone in between here? I'm not sure. So, hold on. Yeah, not sure. So, let us know in the comments. 
Uh, but I think D would have gone here to make up a rake of eight, which they do run with. Okay, so what we got? A, uh, sorry, guys. E. And then this one, you've guessed it, it's F. And then we go G. And then we go H. Okay. So there you go. Not that it's really that important. You probably wouldn't even notice when it's running, but I would notice um, without him seeing it because I know it's there. All right. I hope you've enjoyed that update. Um, as you know, you know what's coming now, what I'm going to say. I don't do a video unless I've got something to show you. The next video, you'll probably see the static grass down, maybe some bushes and shrubs. Um, and I need to make my mind up as well what we're doing up the front here. Um, I, I don't know where to have a road or just have some fields I, I just don't know at the moment so another one as well let me know in the comments uh mentioned it earlier what you think i should do here i will be extending the board out um a foot or two as well just to give it that hst hst that, that look of the trains running through the countryside yeah um what have i got got these as well Believe it or not, there's four packs of sheep and lamb in there, these Pico ones. They only give you 12 of them. And when you put them up on the countryside, like even on this field here, they just looked absolutely lost. I didn't fix them down because I ain't done the grass, but I end up buying several packs of these just to make up this half decent pack. You know, so but I'll leave this video here now, guys. So um thanks for watching. Drop some comments down below, especially you know, just your ideas on what you think about having a road or just have fields and countryside with some cattle. Um, and it, it, I don't know. Let me know. Um, and any other ideas you might have, because I do value them. And as you know, I'll get back to every single comment. And as I've always said as well, it's the only reason I do my videos. So take care for now, guys. And um, I'll catch up with you soon. All the best. Bye.